four rounds, three minutes apiece, one minute of rest in between. It's almost time. Belva Davis once said, don't be afraid of the space between your dreams and reality. Well, in a few minutes, Luis Torres will have his chance to shorten that space. Time is now. We about to get it. We win it. Yeah. So I'm feeling good, feeling great, trying to win this race. So I can have a bigger crib, bigger than a plate. Innovative, how I spit it. See, this kid is great. Making sure to see the vivid images, my lyrics paint. I get deep on these tracks, something like the bass. I've been strong, holding paper, something like the bass. I'm Lewis I'm 19 years old. I'm a professional boxer, fighting out of Orlando, Florida. It's another day for Luis Torres at Peachy Boxing Pit in Winter Park, Florida. But on the horizon, there's an event that maintains its focus. My record is one and one and I have a fight in three weeks that I must win. I've been boxing for like nine years. Oh, 10 years, because I'm 19 right now, so. The person who got me into boxing, my dad. We used to stay in, in Georgia and we moved to Fort Myers. It was a, it's a bad, you know, bad place where we stayed at. Really what he did it for was for to protect each other, like me and my brother, you know, we were getting a fight, to protect each other, we know how to fight. And one day, me and my brother were sitting down. He just came in, he's like, yo, y'all want a box? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Soy un hombre muy honrado, que me gusta lo mejor. My trainers are Coach Peachy and Coach Moses. My name is Ruben Colom. They call me Peachy. We've been in this gym for three years now, and um been here with the guys with Lewis for training him for two years now. Lewis um uh, is pretty fast guy. He, he he that's his main strength. Um and he combines that with some power and usually is very effective with that. Now I'm sure being labeled a professional fighter and all brings up the question of how many money stacks Lewis will be taking home on fight night. Six hundred. So for now Lewis will have to save the mansion and the cars for another payday. Not made with his money, but something. <laughs> but now it's back to business. And as the fight approaches, the focus raises. Unlike other sports, being labeled a pro doesn't mean you've made it. It simply means you've just begun. You train for months for one night, one opportunity that can't be wasted. It's now or never. It's fight day, and everything is pretty calm on the home front. Luis comes out with a look of concern for his ride that should have arrived already. Finally, his ride arrives. Yeah, I'm uh, Coach Moises, uh, assistant coach of Pichi, and uh, ready to, uh, to rumble. It's time to say his goodbyes and face what's next. On the way there, that's when I, you know, it runs. You know, you get, you know, a little nervous. 
but you know, you can't be thinking about what he's gonna do. That's one of the things you can't think about what he's gonna do. It's what I'm gonna do. You gotta read the fighter first. You can't just go in there and just buy him, you know, throw punches. You gotta see where he makes mistakes when he throws punches. How he, if he throws a right hand, he drops the, the, the left hand. If he throws a hook, he drops this hand. You know, you wanna, then you wanna, you know, bite into that. It's counter punching, and that's that's the, the, my style of fighting. I gotta win for me and my family. You know, it's my career. I wanna move on, make it far in this sport. Four rounds, three minutes apiece, one minute of rest in between. It's almost time. Belva Davis once said, don't be afraid of the space between your dreams and reality. Well, in a few minutes, Luis Torres will have his chance to shorten that space. The fight has officially begun. Lewis's opponent comes out aggressive early on, looking to set the tone of the fight. He keeps the pressure on Lewis, but in the process, leaving himself open. In the second round, both fighters come out more offensive minded. Both are now looking to land that big punch. Which Lewis happens to land. It was an onslaught of punches that I had thought ended the fight at the time. But the round is over, and both fighters get set for round three. To the opponent's credit, he still comes out fighting, not looking that affected by the previous round. The fight is still up for grabs, and both fighters are giving it their all to gain the upper hand. At this point, technique is taking a back seat to pure heart as they give everything they have to the final belt. It was a great fight and amazing courage shown from both fighters. Now it's time for the results. Y vamos a la decisión de los jueces. El juez Mike Ross vio la pelea 39-10. Don Balas vio la pelea 38-10. Don Chambly Vio la pelea, 38-10. Y el ganador de la pelea, la declararon empate. A draw, you know, it wasn't a, a, a majority, a yeah. Yeah, so, that's what we're walking away with, a draw, when it should have been a win, but, hey. Better than I lost. <laughs> Going by the mood in the locker room, a draw seems no better than a loss. It's a feeling of frustration, 
a feeling that they just might have let an opportunity slip. Tomorrow the sun will rise, and all experiences prior will be laid to rest, but never forgotten. This film isn't about winning, losing, or draws. It's not about success or failure, poverty or prosperity. It's about having a dream and having enough belief in that dream to go on a special journey. Not only for you, but for the ones in your corner. The ones who are here with you now and the ones that are coming after. For the ones that's been there with you from the beginning. For the ones that stand proud because of what they raised. For the name across your back that you wear proudly inside that square circle. It's for the pursuit of something special. One of the reasons I want to wanna win and make it far in, in the sport, boxing too, for all the hard work he put in for us, it's time for me to do my part. Luis can go as far as Luis wants to take it. I've been around boxing for probably 20 years now. He's probably one of the best guys I've seen in the ring. He will be one of the best boxers out there. Oh, yeah.